What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Leia. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So today I was getting ready um, for my day. It's actually a little bit later. It's still, it's already 3.30 in the afternoon. So I've already kind of had like a, like a half day already, but I was cleaning around my house, like, you know, scrubbing the toilets. <laughs> Stuff like that, like cleaning. And um, I made myself like a little bit of a lunch and then Andrew just went to work. So I'm gonna go run some errands right now. And I thought, you know what? I haven't shown uh, like how I do my hair in a while. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you guys how I do my hair. I have done a one hair video like right when I barely started YouTube and my tools are a little bit different and I wanted to show you just a little bit of an updated like how I do my hair. I am by no means a hair expert or anything like that. Just this is how I do my hair like every day. Like when I'm at work, when I'm at home and it may seem a little bit long during the video but trust me when I'm at home and I'm doing my hair I get this done in like 15 to 20 minutes and my products are always changing. I showed you what I use in the video and I love, love, love these products but I use other stuff too. Um, I will list like all my favorites and everything that I use in the description box below. I am a little bit of a hair snob. I haven't been buying a lot of makeup, but hair products and skincare products, especially like sunscreen, that is kind of all I've been buying lately and I like love, 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 love that stuff. So I do spend the money. Definitely like buy though when like Sephora has their VIB sales or anything on sale or Ulta will send out coupons or actually if you guys have a friend that is a beauty, like a, a hairstylist, whatever they're called, they do get percentages at their like beauty salon. So always try to go with your friends if you guys do have uh, like hair stylists, uh, hair people friends, they can always take you with them and then you know they can purchase them on like with their like certificate card and then you get the discount. It's great. Anyways guys, if you do wanna see this, do please keep watching. If you do like the video, give it a like. Do not forget to subscribe. And I'm a little chitty chatty in this video. I feel like I got off topic a little bit. Um, I'm talking a little bit about flying in this video and a little bit about my Disney trips coming up soon. So if that does interest you, along with learning how I do my hair, this is the way it came out. Super cute. If you guys are interested in that, please keep watching. Okay guys, so we are gonna get started. So I washed my hair last night and I always blow it out. I'll show you, I kind of have my tools right here to kind of show you guys what I use and stuff. I swear I'm looking at my dark hair and I feel like I look like freaking Morticia, like Morticia Adams from the Adams Family. But I pretty much use one of these guys. It's from Revlon. I got it at Ulta Beauty. Um, sometimes Ulta Beauty throws out those 20% off coupons. Please use those. This thing though is awesome. You can get them at Target too. They come in the pink, they come in the blue, They're from, it's from Revlon, I will link it down below. If you don't have one of these guys, I, I definitely suggest you getting one. I mean, it's not a dire need, but it definitely helps out because as you're like blowing, it's like a blow dryer, but a brush. So like you're blowing your hair and like you're brushing, you know, as you go and stuff. I love it, Andrew loves it. Actually, Andrew says that this is his, he uses it all the time. My mom recently got one, she loves hers too. So this is pretty much what I use to, to blow out my hair. It's really nice and silky and it takes out all like the, the frizziness and stuff like that. And I usually just put like a spray. I either use the Color Wow, the Dream Coat, or I use the um, IGK. I don't have it with me right now. Um, this is the one I'm gonna use today, but this is like more of a heat protectant. The other one is more of like a, like a leave-in conditioner. So I'm gonna start like splitting my hair. I do different stuff all the time. I'm constantly like changing up the way my hair looks but this is pretty much the routine I do normal, like on the regular. Today I'm gonna use, this is Kristen S. It's actually already getting kind of hot. It's, I think this is the inch and a quarter, but I do love the one inch. Even with my long hair, I do love one inch. I love inch and a quarter. This is supposed to give you more of like that more beachier type of curl where one inch is more um, tighter. But I do love this one. I always love a clamp. Um, I use it as a wand and I use it as a clamp. And my temperature is set at 365. You guys don't really need high heat at all, to be honest, because what makes your hair curl is when you release it, it's like the mixture of the hot air with the cold and it makes it curl, I think. <laughs> so I'm gonna just start spraying this a little bit. You don't have to spray a lot. It's just a little bit of like a, <sighs> I think I got it in my mouth. <laughs> but it's like a heat protectant um, for your hair and 
Just gonna spray a little bit on my on my hair and then I'm gonna start curling. I normally get my wand and I do like one pass and then I go in half ways and then I start curling. I hold it, I don't even know how many seconds I hold it, like less than 10, maybe like five to eight seconds. And then I literally start releasing my clamp and I bring it down and then sometimes I even like twirl it and then bring it back up and then re-roll it down. And the bottom, I kind of just like slide it through just like that. So it looks kind of tight, but then we brush out our curls at the end. So I'm gonna grab my next section. Now, sometimes I kind of curl away from the face and then I'll rotate and curl to the face. But for today, I'm actually just gonna do everything away from the face. That's kind of what I do on the regular. I'm being honest, when I am like doing something special, I'll be way more like particular of how I curl my hair. Sometimes I'll do like rotating the wand style or rotating the, the curling iron style or I'll rotate, you know, away from the face or to the face. But on a regular, like what you guys see when I do my hair at work and stuff, it's pretty much this because it's just the easiest. So I just slide it through everything away from the face and I always use the clamp. So I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat until I can't repeat anymore on this side and then I'll switch to the other side like that this stuff guys actually smells really good the igk good behavior it's called the spirulina protein smoothing spray like i said i got this on a sale one time and i still have it guys from when i posted it on my instagram i will leave my instagram name right here if you are interested i still have this it is kind of getting towards um the bottom i really liked it it works really really well now i'm going to start this side of the hair brush it through and then do one pass and then start curling halfway like that. Um, but yeah, it's protection up to 450 degree heat protection. It's like a keratin like treatment in a can. Yeah, this one between this one and the other one, I'll link both of them below if you are interested. They're both from IGK. This one and like the leave-in treatment one um, that I put on my uh, hair when it's damp. They both work really, really well. So if I'm not using this one, then I'm using the Color Wow uh, Dream Coat. But if you use the Dream Coat, you're not supposed to really use anything else with it. You just use the Dream Coat. And that one works awesome too. It's it's made for like humidity. I'm actually going to Disney World uh, beginning of September. So we leave September 5th and we're gonna be there till the 10th. And I'm really excited because um, we're going to Disney World and I'm gonna be vlogging that, so I'm excited too. But also, I'm going to be using that dream coat and I'm going to see how it holds up in the humidity because it doesn't really get that humid here in California, but I'm excited to actually use it in Florida where the humidity is like, pff, uh, you know, that that's humidity. So I'm excited to finally like test it in the Florida heat. Look out for those videos to come in September. I'm pretty excited. Okay, so I'm going to start letting down the next layer. I'm pretty much going to do the rest of my hair. I leave literally just the very top layer and I'm gonna do that last. So I do it in three layers, the bottom, the middle, and then the top. So I'm gonna just kind of repeat everything again. Um, actually, I should probably spray a little bit cause I didn't spray the top or the middle section. So we'll start repeating it again. Just be, whoop, just be careful you don't burn yourself. Like that, look how pretty that curl is. Good curl. You guys, I don't even know if you can see my little Jackie right here. He has his like little face hanging out. I swear this dog follows me everywhere. I'm like his whole world, you know? I love that I'm his whole world, but he can get a lot. <laughs> He's very, very needy. If you guys have a golden retriever, do you guys think like they're the most needy dogs? Like my miniature pincher, Sin, is like, so chill like she's downstairs right now like she does her own thing she's always like laying in her bed she has a bed upstairs and downstairs but jack just like chases me around the whole house all the time so he's definitely way more needy um than sin i'm trying to pick up for work this week i was lucky enough that well i had two trips at the end of july that 
I hated the trips. They just are not things that I would ever do. And I was so lucky that someone, I had them posted like in our system as like a drop for someone to pick them up and someone, or a grab, like for someone to grab them. And someone did and I was like, oh my God, thank goodness because I really, really disliked those trips. However, because they picked them up, now I'm like short hours and I kind of messed up because I wanted to pick up on Sunday but I ended up not and they were offering like double pay through work. But I ended up like doing something else where by the time I got home Saturday, I was so beat and worn out that I was like, I'm not even going to pick up because I just had such a, I was just so tired and I don't even think I did much. I was just worn out and I regret it because that would have been double pay and I'm like, damn it. And then I thought they would offer double pay like again, like for Monday. Um, today is currently Monday but they have not and I'm like, shoot, did I just miss out on some double pay and I'm really like stressed out now financially where I'm like, damn it, like, you know, I have bills now and then <laughs> with the house and we are also having trips. I'm actually um, going to Disneyland the end of this week. So we leave uh, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I have money for that. I've been saving for a while. Um, I don't like to go to the parks like on a really a budget because I like to be able to try all the food or buy a souvenir or, or like merchandise if I wanted to. But now I'm trying to work on like my regular bills for September. And then we're going to Disney World. So now I'm trying to work on like my budget for Disney World and I'm like, I need to pick up something. So I'm probably gonna be picking up something tomorrow, uh, like a two day. And then when I get back from Disneyland, I'm gonna probably pick up another trip. But 100% real guys, I haven't been like liking flying lately. It's been very, very stressful. It's just the, the crowds right now, because it's summer, everything is just so full. A lot of people don't even like know how to fly right now because of COVID still and having to wear the mask. And I'm not as like strict, I feel, as I probably should be because I just don't want to get into it with anybody on the flights. Uh, so I probably do need to be more strict. But to me, it's like I'm not trying to get in fights. I'm not trying to make it on the evening news or anything like that. But it's just been really, really hard. Our schedules have been really, really demanding lately where they've been working us. I think I got all of that here on that second row. So now I'm going to just bring down the top row and then start. Um, I always do a middle part. So something like that. That's kind of what I always do. What was I talking about? I don't even know. So again, uh, pat one pass and then the same. Sometimes, honestly, I will uh, curl my front with a one inch. I know that's really extra. And when I travel for work, I don't always bring, I, I, I don't, I only bring one wand. Um, so I, so that's the curl right there for the front, always away from the face. And then sometimes I'll even like try to straighten it out with the curler like that. So it's not as like curly, just like that. So yeah, I got distracted. I don't even know what I was talking about. I could, if I wanted to like review the video, but I'm not going to, but nonetheless, um, I'm just really excited for my two Disney trips coming up. Andrew is going with me and I'm just so excited because I haven't been to Disney with Andrew since I don't know if it was like 2019 or 2018. Obviously a lot of the park was closed last year um, and then when I went recently I went with my cousin and my sister when we went to Disney World and then I went to Disney World uh, or be, like pre-COVID literally like in January of 2020 with just my cousin. So I've been twice without him and I'm like, I kind of like need him by my side, like for my own like anxiety that I've been having. One of the reasons why I said at the end of my last Disney trip, I'll link that vlog if you are interested. I got so sick after that because I think I just had really, really high anxiety, but like Andrew is like my safe place and he wasn't there and I was just really, really sad that he wasn't there and and I'm, I need him there with me this time. So I'm really, really excited. Um, I will be vlogging, so stay tuned for those vlogs. I think I'm gonna do two videos at Disneyland, um, like a day one and day two, maybe three, maybe I'll do a vlog of like the travel and hotel and stuff. And then for Disney World, we have some great things planned, which I'm really excited about. So I might be doing like three to five videos. So I'm just really excited. I hope you guys like Disney content because that is coming to you guys very, very soon.
Okay, again with the front, spray a little bit. And always away from the face, especially in the front. Always away from the face because the front pieces are what's gonna frame your face. You wanna always make sure you go away. And I don't even hold the curling iron that long in the front. Um, it curls really fast, so I don't really hold it that long. And you can always redo it if you don't like it, so. But yeah, so flying to me lately, I would be lying if I stated that I haven't thought about quitting. I don't because I've just worked so hard to be with where I'm at, but it's kind of like, it's totally changed from pre-COVID and it's not the job it used to be. Not only that, but just as people, like we change. Like I started flying, I've been flying for six and a half years at my current airline, but then I also flew for a regional. You know, people just change, like people's needs change. And I feel like I'm in a different phase in my life where like now that I'm a homeowner and I wanna be home more and then probably like have kids soon. You know, I'm 32, I'm not getting any younger. This is like my prime time before my eggs start getting old. You know, like when your OBGYN starts calling you guys like, old at 35 you're like you're considered geriatric so there's so many other things that I want more in my life and being gone is just it just feels so lonely we're just flying all day like our schedules have just been so like fly 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 all day long and then we just have the shortest layovers so I've kind of just been a little bit over it recently so that's that's kind of where I'm at with that I'm trying to just fly as least as I can. I need like a plan B, like a local plan B. I just don't know yet. I'm trying to go back to school and I don't know. There's so much going on in the in the air um, that I it stresses me out thinking about like what's gonna be my future or whatever. So I, I don't know. I just know that I haven't been really like flying a lot, but I don't really think that I would quit because I've worked so hard to get to where I'm at. And I almost have it like, too good like the job is hard yes but like I get paid pretty good for my like years of service and I get like I have decent seniority um so I'm gonna take my hot tool straightener guys and I'm pretty much just gonna like straighten a little bit of the ends right here um because I don't like the ends really curly I like them very PC like even if you get your hair and go like this they're very like p like like beachy beachy PC so I kind of just straighten out the ends a little bit and dang, my hair's gotten so long. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I have it just in a way like too good that I, I don't feel like I would ever leave leave. I just kind of want to pull back my schedule where I will fly very minimum just to keep the flight benefits or even if I don't even need medical benefits, I could always get on Andrew's medical benefits. But just to be like an active employee, I don't ever see myself leaving it, but I want to put my eggs in different baskets. I don't want to just keep them all in one basket of just flying because it's just been getting to me a lot lately. And actually, I just started following. If you guys are flight attendants and you need a little bit like extra therapy or like you need someone to talk to who maybe understands you, because a lot of times I talk to people around me and they don't really get me because uh, let's be real unless you live this lifestyle you'll never really understand but there is this thing called the air therapy the therapy i'll go ahead and write it or, or link it down in the description box it's like an instagram page if you guys can see that and i've been following them a lot lately and it's actually been really really cool it's like a community of like flight attendants and how they're feeling and everything is like fair game to express your feelings and it's just like it's like a therapy page on Instagram but for flight attendants where a lot of people just um come and they like write their what's on their mind or how they're feeling and all this stuff so I, it's been great I've been following a lot more pages like that like of flight attendants and stuff so if you guys are a flight attendant or even if you're not and you just want to get like a grasp of kind of like what the industry has been like definitely do give them a follow Sometimes I go over just the top right here because um, sometimes the top will not be as like smooth as I like. So I'll just go over just the top with the straightener. I have like really bad frizzies right here on the side. So just kind of go over it a little bit to like smooth them out. This is pretty much like the last steps in my hair. And then I'll even kind of go around my crown right here and go over with the straightener because for some reason my crown area always looks really funky <laughs> so as long as i just straighten it out just a little bit and then just grab your hair section it off 
and then I'm just gonna kind of like lightly brush through it I don't want to brush too hard because you know, I worked hard for these curls. So just lightly brush through it I'm always doing this like you guys always see me do this everywhere I go on all my flat attendant vlogs I'm like always like um because I love volume so I'm always going like this like boop, 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 popping it up I missed a piece back here so I'm just gonna go back in and um recurl it I have my mirror right here in front of me so I kind of just briefly got up and looked in my mirror and I realized that oh I had like one piece that was missing so always like check your work I know it seems like I'm like taking a while right now because I'm like talking with you guys and I'm like leisurely doing my hair but honestly when I do this in my hotel rooms or even here at my house I can do my hair in like 20 minutes or less it doesn't really take that long I mean and I have a lot of hair like this is a lot of hair guys this is not extensions it's my hair like it's a lot but it doesn't it doesn't take that long to to do I'm just like here talking and then the final step that I'm gonna do guys I've been using this forever and I love it you could always use a texturizing hairspray because I do that too but this is the big sexy hair powder play it's like a very gritty consistency which a lot of people won't like that because their like hands get stuck but I actually like that I've gotten really like used to it and I kind of just like literally put it right only in the front where I want that little bit more volume and I put it on both sides just like that and then you see you can see the powder and then I'm just gonna literally like blend it in so I just start like blending it in and I love that grittiness um, because it gives me so much volume like like look at how much volume that gave me like right there I mean I'm gonna brush it out and make it look better but just adding this the grit it like it provides a, such a good amount of volume like gosh isn't isn't that volume that is super volume like I freaking love that and then um take my brush and just kind of like brush over it a little bit like brush it out to make it look a little more cleaned up and just like that I'm gonna brush out the back a little bit too and then my hair is done. I'm done. I'm ready for the day. <laughs> the last thing I'm going to do, I need to do my hair. Honestly, this is like my extra room. So we have a three bedroom house. Um, we have our master bedroom. And then because we don't have kids or whatever, this room is mine. This is like my office space. I have my vanity here. You guys can see my luggage right there. That's my big mirror. You can see where I'm filming right here. I have the big mirror. So this is my room. I do my makeup here, but I don't do my hair here. I just do my hair in the bathroom because I have carpet in this room and then I don't like hair on the carpet but this is where I film if I'm gonna film at my house so I have my ring light and everything and, and I just I like this setup and I think my hair came out really I think I didn't think it was gonna come out as good as it did being here but it did so I'm gonna start doing my hair here more often and um and the other room is like Andrew's room like oh sorry I just hit my camera <laughs> But it's like technically like our spare bedroom, but it's technically also Andrew's room too because he has like his little man cave and then I have my like woman palace <laughs> right here. Anyways, guys, I, I don't even, this video, every time I film, I'm like, what in the hell am I talking about? Um, but the last thing I do is take my Colorwell hairspray. So a lot of times in the front, guys, okay, I get the hairspray and I put it on my hands and I kind of just like briefly run it through a little bit especially the front because sometimes when you spray it straight on the hair it can come out a little weird and then it just weighs the hair down a lot so I kind of just get the spray and then just lightly just put it on the hairs in the front and then I'll grab this more and I'll just like and then I'll like lightly spray it throughout the hair I mean who am I kidding sometimes I'm not light I'm like like <laughs> so I say lightly but I go hard with my hairspray at times and then a lot of times I come up here and then smooth down the flyaways just like that and then just keep on spraying all right so that does end this tutorial um it was really really easy even though probably is going to be like a 30 minute video because I tend to ramble a lot just turning off my like um my tools again my inch and a half actually no inch and a quarter Kristen S curler and then my this is a one inch hot tools it's a ceramic one inch hot tools just turning off my tools and I will list everything that I use in the description box below if you are interested 
Honestly though, use the products that work for you. I've never been one to like push products. I use what I like, but honestly, everybody likes different things. Use what works for you because everyone has different hair texture, hair color. Same when it comes to makeup, everyone has different skin types. So what works for me may not work for you. But if you do have something similar to what I have, maybe it will work for you and then definitely do give it a try. So yeah, this is the finished hair. I'm gonna kind of turn around. Can you guys see the back of my hair? It's just really pretty. It's super long. So that's the finished hair, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I am excited, like I said, for my Disney trips coming up. I wanna show more travel stuff. I'm excited to show you guys more food at Disney. I'm gonna look at more merchandise and just vlogging around the park. And I'll have, um, for Disneyland next week, I'm going with my friend Marilyn and her daughter. Her daughter's like the cutest thing and I, I feel like it would make for some good content. When we go to Disney World, it's me and Andrew and we're gonna meet up with uh, my cousin who lives there and then my sister and then my brother-in-law. So there's six of us and it should be a lot of fun too. And again, some good vlogs coming up. So thanks for joining me. I'm probably going to work tomorrow, so do expect a flying vlog from me soon. And if you like this video, guys, do give it a like. Leave me suggestions in the comments below. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.